In this training, we're going to review how to use the Formula Builder for building and editing real-time, fundamental, and historical data retrieval functions. Let's start by opening the Formula Builder icon. Let's start by defining one or more instruments. You can reference a range of cells by clicking the grid icon. And select the range and click Select. So we're going to select these instruments. Let's select. If we want to remove the inputs of instruments we just selected, we can simply hit the X in the Instruments field. Let's do that now. You can also look for instruments in the Formula Builder window by simply typing them into the Formula field. Let's do a search for Microsoft. Let's also do a search for Amazon. You can see that auto-suggest populates with possible solutions for our word search for Amazon. So let's select Amazon. Next, let's review how to add data items. The available data items are automatically filtered to match the selected instruments. Let's do a keyword search for revenue. And let's select total revenue. And let's do another keyword search. And let's select operating income. After selecting from auto suggest, other items from the same category are displayed. Next, we will review how to add parameters. The parameters are automatically updated to match the selected data items and are used to control the output data. To select data for the last five fiscal years, select Series and enter in five. To report the revenue in millions, select Revenue, and from the Scale drop-down menu, select Millions. And you'll see here in the formula that it's been updated to represent Scale 6, which is Millions. Next, let's review the display options. The display options are used to control the layout and appearance of the data. You can include headers if you have multiple data items. You can include dates if you are requesting series data. You can include instruments if you are reporting on multiple instruments. Finally, you can choose between a single function or one function per data item. And let's select Insert to create the function. Next, minimize the Formula Builder. And in your worksheet, you'll have your data. In our previous example, the function we created was for fundamental data. In this example, we're going to create a historical pricing and volume data. For that, we'll select Time Series. We're going to select the trade price, then select Timestamp and Close. We're going to select the TS Repeat to No. And let's change the interval drop down to Daily for this example and then we're going to select Insert. And let's close out of the Formula Builder. And here is our historical pricing request for the trade close price for Microsoft and Amazon.
Thank you for joining me today on how to use the Formula Builder for building and editing real-time, fundamental, and historical data retrieval functions.